Hey, welcome back to The Passes Alive. Hope you guys all had a good holiday. Tonight we're back with the weekly recap, and this is the Christmas edition. So she's showcasing some things that I got for Christmas. Some pretty cool stuff here, I think so at least. And then we also have a package from a subscriber and also a friend of the channel that I'm going to rip open with you as well. But let's just dive right in. First off, I'm sure you guys see it already, the Farmore, the vintage Farmore hat. Uh, I liked Farmore as a kid. I used to go in there and buy baseball cards and toys. It was a discount drugstore. Actually went out of business due to scandal and corruption and closed its doors forever in 2002. But I still have good memories of going there as a kid and buying cards and toys. Some of you guys may remember uh, far more from your childhoods. And moving right along, this is pretty cool too. I've wanted one of these for quite some time. They're not all that uh, rare. I've actually seen them pop up on eBay quite often, but I've never bought one, never owned one as a kid, at least I don't remember. But a real Ghostbusters belt, a kid's belt, and I actually tried it on already. It does not fit me, unfortunately, but does fit does fit my girlfriend, Brittany. She's actually who bought it for me, so pretty cool novelty item there that I did not have in my collection, so that'll go with the rest of the RGB stuff. And she also picked up for me Real Ghostbusters Party Imitations, sealed. These are by Hallmark. These came out in the late 80s. Pretty cool. I don't see these. I don't know if I've ever even seen this particular party imitation. They made a few different uh, variations of these. So that's pretty awesome to have that. I love the RGB novelty stuff, and she obviously knows that. And then RGB Party Stickers, also from Hallmark, sealed. And I don't think I've ever seen these particular stickers before, so that's pretty awesome to add that to my Ghostbusters collection, which is getting ever so big by the day. Probably buying way too much of it, actually. A couple things there, and then moving into <clears throat> some more rarer stuff. This is a real Ghostbusters nylon lunch bag from the late 80s. These don't, these don't pop up very often. This is pretty cool. I think she got this off Etsy. And it's still in pretty good condition. A little bit of fading to the print there. But still awesome. Like I said, don't see these very often at all. So that was awesome. Didn't have it in my collection already. Some of you guys may have used that as a kid and taking your lunch to school on it. And then back here in the back, I think this is from or ripped out of a comic book from uh, 1990. It's an ad for Ghostbusters 2 for the NES. You're going to call for a great Nintendo action. This was released in 1990. I definitely remember playing this one. I think it was a step up from the original uh, Ghostbusters for the NES. That game was just so damn tedious and hard in general, especially the uh, the staircase to the rooftop before you battle Gozer. But that was pretty cool. I think, I think she got this off on, on uh, Etsy as well. But a cool um, <clears throat> promotional display piece there. I've never seen that before either, so... Very neat of her to get that. And then we move into some of the final things here. Some keepsakes from Hallmark. These were actually released in 2019 in Ecto-1. And these take batteries and the Ecto-1 actually lights up. Haven't tested it out yet. I don't have a Christmas tree, but uh, this is probably going to make me buy one for next year. Getting these ornaments. I'm not sure if that has any sound to it or not, but I know that this Pete Venkman does. And does recite um, lines from the movie. Which is pretty awesome. Pete Venkman in what looks to be part of the rooftop scene. So that was for the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters, the original. So that's pretty awesome. Can't wait to test that out as well. And I'm very stoked about this. Boy Meets World, probably my favorite sitcom of the 90s. I used to watch it religiously every single Friday in TGIF. From like the very first episode in 93... All the way to the series finale in the year 2000. Absolutely love that show. And Brittany picked this autographed 8x10 William Daniels uh, picture up for me for Christmas. It's pretty awesome too because, uh, like I said, love this show. And my favorite years of the show are probably, it was probably late in high school, honestly. Like senior year, episodes in that range were probably my favorite out of all of them. So... Pretty awesome. William Daniels is Mr. Feeney, in case you guys didn't know that. Mr. Feeney is still alive. He's in his 90s now. So I thought that was really awesome. I actually got a chance to meet most of the cast last year at a con in Washington, D.C. I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys or not, but there's me with um, Will Friedle, Ryder Strong, and Ben Savage. 
Eric, Sean, and Corey. So that was pretty awesome. Got to meet those guys and talk to them for a bit and got the photo, got them to sign it. So pretty stoked about that. And then last but not least, Brittany got me this awesome Field of Dreams vintage t-shirt from Dyersville, Iowa. And this is from Universal Studios in 1991. Thought that was really cool. I was actually looking at this on eBay and thought about buying it to put in a t-shirt frame. Love Field of Dreams. Definitely one of my all-time favorite movies. If you have not seen it, definitely go and check it out, especially if you're a baseball fan. And then a few gifts from Eric. Some baseball cards here, finally, huh? We got some 2018 Topps Holiday. I actually like Topps Holiday a lot. They're not real valuable or anything, but I always like the design. I thought they're pretty cool. Especially 2019, too, is really nice. So, um, this is a retail box. Ten packs in here, and you're going to get a relic or an auto in every box. So, maybe we'll pull something nice out of there. I'm not going to open that tonight, but we will dig into that. I don't know, another day. Save that for another time, but we definitely will be diving into the Hot Corner box. I've seen people open these, but I've never opened one myself yet. One hobby pack, two hits, four total packs. I think they're going to be all newer stuff. These are made by Fairfield. They're actually pretty hard to get a hold of now from what I've been hearing. Seems like they're big sellers at Target. I think those are Target exclusive. I'm pretty sure. I've never seen them anywhere else. But they just can't keep them on the shelves from what I hear. So going to rip that open. And also have some mail here. A package sent in by our buddy Joe Yankee. And we have a note from Joe Yankee. This was sent in. I got this last week. But it says, John, love, love, love the channel. I look forward to many more awesome toy finds, videos, and breaks. You also have the best live chat on YouTube. Anytime you talk about Kingpin, it's an awesome time. Merry Christmas, Joe. I really appreciate all your support, Joe. And thank you for always sending cool stuff and always hanging out in the live streams and everything else, man. It means a lot to me. And Joe also sent uh, some cards as well. The first one being a 58 Tops, Danny Kravitz from our hometown team, the Buckos. Can't say that I have many 58 Tops, if any at all. Probably only a couple. And this one is in good shape overall. Nice corners, no creases off center, but that's to be expected for most cards of this era. No gum stain, so very nice overall. Thank you very much for that, Joe. I appreciate it, man. Now we have two team bags here. I guess we'll go through this one first. <clears throat> rookie pack. Joe knows I collect rookies, so he sent me a pack of rookies. We got Moises Alou, 90 Fleer, rookie card, and Marquise Grissom. That was a definitely a big one back in 1990. Robin Ventura. It's his second year Bowman card. Delonda Shields is also another big uh, big prospect back then. That was a really hot card. Marquise Grissom again, 90 Fleer. Greg Vaughn, another big prospect back then. Albert Bell, that's actually his second Fleer card. He had, a, he had a card in 89 Fleer update set. And uh, that's his first Bowman card, though. Went by Joey until, I don't even know, was it 91 or 92? They started uh, printing Albert on his cards and he started going by that. Rob Nen, looking like he just drank a very sour beer IPA or something. Greg Vaughn, looking completely baked. Chuck Knobloch, also a huge prospect back in 1990. Definitely all the craze. Dave Justice, 90 Fleer rookie card. Larry Walker, hopefully see him getting into the Hall of Fame here soon. Two of his rookies, one from Fleer and Tops. A Sosa rookie card from 90 Tops. And also his Fleer rookie card. Deion Sanders, that's actually his second Tops card. He had a, a rookie card in 89 Tops traded. And also another Albert Bell from 90 Tops. Moises Alou rookie card, 90 Bowman. Juan Gone. Three of his rookies, actually. Fleer, Tops, and Bowman. And Bernie Williams with a huge printing bubble on his face. Pretty crazy looking. It's a nice pack of rookies there, Joe. Thank you very much for that. I actually boxed your, uh, your stuff up today, and I'll be sending it out tomorrow morning. So hopefully you enjoy what is inside of there. Then we have one more pack here, and this one actually says Relics and 70s and 80s stars. So right off the bat here, Edwin Encarnacion uh, patch relic here from 2016 All-Star Game. It's a really cool card. I like that one a lot. Jacques Jones. Amazing greats patch relic there. Another nice one. I actually just bought his rookie card not too long ago. 
And then a Doug Jones on card auto. I I have no idea what set this is. I can't say that I've ever seen these. If I did, it was a long time ago. Kind of looks like it's a early '90s card. Almost looks like '92 over deck. I know it's not, but same style. So that's cool. And then Juan Urbina, first Bowman card in Refractor. That's a shiny looking card. Very nice one there. Looks like it's from 20, 2010 or 2011. It's also numbered too, out of 500. So that's a cool auto. And then a Roy White, a Reggie, Raleigh Fingers, 79. Cool card. And these are in good shape too. Probably Fingers 82 Fleer. Most saves in the American League in 81. And then Willie Starge with 81 Tops. I always like the 81 Tops design. That set's pretty awesome. Hard to come across boxes of those. Nice Stargell. So thanks a lot, Joe. Appreciate it, man. Keep an eye out for the package from me here pretty soon. Hopefully uh, you get some nice pulls out of what I included in there. And that takes us down to the final item of the evening, which is the hot corner box, courtesy Eric. Like I said before, all that stuff, shout out to my girlfriend Brittany, all that stuff before. All the RGB stuff and novelty stuff was all from her, so. Very awesome. And I guess we'll save that hit for last. You can tell I'm not used to opening these boxes, you can probably already see it. Let's see what packs we have. Um... So there's two hits in here. I kind of ruined it and gave it away. It's an auto from Michael Choice with a beat-up corner. I don't know why Fairfield just throws the hits in there with no top loader or anything. That kind of sucks. 2012 Goodwin Champions. That's cool. We got an auto, but yeah, look at the bottom right corner. Muffed up, so that kind of sucks. 2019 Series 1 pack. Opening day. Oh, Nate Bowman Chrome, that's a nice one. Might as well look at this other hit. And it is a Prince Fielder, I guess, uh, Refractor Relic. That's pretty awesome. A Prince Fielder. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. And the last pack, 2018 Big League. So Fairfield kind of screws you here on these some of these packs. Opening day and Big League. Might as well just rip those up and get them out of the way right now. Cheapo packs here. But I think these, I, I forget how much these boxes are. I think they're like 15 bucks. There's a Trout, Judge, and Jose Ramirez. Where's Edwin Encarnacion? Just saw his relic. You'll find a decent rookie in here. There's a Verlander. Not bad. Jordy, Tyler O'Neill rookie card. There's a nice Bryce Harper for Austin Farmer. If you don't have that one, let me know and I'll send it to you. And a gold card, Urban Santana. These ones are not numbered in big league. Not that bad of a pack. I guess we'll do opening day. Not a big fan of opening day at all. D. Gregorius. Has a Jake Arietta. Dickerson. Ted Williams. 150 years of fun. Never seen those before. It's hard to last now. Jake Bowers, rookie card. And there's Dee Dee, who is now on the Phillies. And uh, I'll save Chrome for last. 2019 Series 1. I can't think if there's really anything good in Series 1. I don't know if I've ever bought a pack of these yet. There's a Kyle Tucker rookie card. A Nolan. Ty Cobb. Evolution. Daniel Murphy stars of the game. It's a nice looking card. I've not seen those before. And here's a nice one. Juan Soto home run challenge. Not bad at all. Harrison Bader, second year gold cup. It's a nice one. Kirby Yates. Chapman has a Josh Bell. And Joe Musgrove. Not a bad pack. Not sure what that stars of the game card's all about or if those are pretty common or not, but not bad. Takes us to our final order of business, the 2008 Bowman Chrome. I don't know if like Kershaw rookie card is in here. 
There's a nice one on top though, nice Derek Jeter starting off. Not bad at all. Can't say that I've ever opened a pack of these. Corey Hart, Mike Dunn, and Velasquez. Too crazy here, but nice Jeter though. It's a cool looking card. Don't see too many of these. I don't at least. So all in all, definitely a good holiday. Got some nice collectibles. So thank you to my girlfriend and to Eric as well. And also thank you, Joe Baumgarten, for that package you sent. Some nice stuff in there. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Maybe, I don't know, maybe tomorrow night or sometime soon we will open this box of 2018 Holiday and see if we can pull any nice hits or any good rookie cards out of there. So, till next time, enjoy your weekend, guys, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.